Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Austria, where we are destroying the sick men of the world, as I like to call everyone else that isn't us. So, anyways, we have Lombardia right now dealing with some rebel problems. Luckily, we have an army literally right here dedicated to the solving of Sir Rebel problems, because I honestly don't like the fact that these guys should could become under revolution. You know, the say is going to be a revolution. Uh, I say there isn't going to be a revolution. There's never going to be a revolution. There's always going to be the same order and the same way we do things from here on out. Nothing is going to change. By the way, China, since you guys are so helpful right now, hey, I want you guys to join in on the... Oh, you guys aren't going to join in on the other war. Well, if you guys would join in on the other war, it'd be really nice. Oh, okay. And let's see. We're slowly destroying the rest of his land over here. We destroyed all of his land over here, and we're just going to go conquer the rest of Danish Africa. Which actually should add a lot of land to us. Which is going to be fairly nice. Let's see, Danish a Danish lands over here again conquered by our good friends, the Danes. But we're moving in pretty quickly from the north. Uh, let's see. Uh, Denmark might want to surrender now. I mean, they have both... In 90 days, they're about to have different Kazakh Belais go out. So, yeah. Dig deep and greedy. Let's see. Excellent, dig deep and greedy. Let's see, you guys move in right there. You guys move in right there. Yeah, we're just basically, we're basically destroying the Denmarkians. I mean, there's really nothing they can really do about it either. Because I've won. Yep, I've won. There's not much they can really do about it. I was really hoping this would actually propel us to a war with uh, with our good friends, the uh, British. But if I have to deal with these guys first, I guess that's pretty good. That also means that the Ottoman Empire became a colonial power, by the way. Just so you guys know. Just, just so you guys know. If we win this, the Ottomans became a colonial power. Because look, we would basically own like this part of Africa and all of this part of Africa. This is going to be awesome once we release these guys. Let's see. No? You guys still want to fight me? Okay. We'll fight. I'm not really sure it's going to be a fight, though. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a mass slaughter on my point. Intervene immediately. Oh, wait a minute. We also have to deal with this land up here. Oh, somebody always seized it. Yes! Okay. Good. I was about to say, we do have to deal with the upper parts of... Of that, but apparently somebody always seized it, so we don't even have to deal with it, which is nice. Okay, we're sieging through all of this, as you guys can see. Uh, China is actually backing off, I believe. It's kind of a stink, but we're just kind of sieging through everything, conquering all of our land. Oh man, there we go. Let's go right here. Let's go right here. Actually, just go right there then. Let's see, do we have all of our land conquered back? Yes, we do. All of our land is back. And now we're just basically destroying all the rest of the uh, African colonies down here. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful African colonies. As they slowly all die. Wow. Just reopen everything. That's a lot of destruction for just a little bit. Montenegro, oh no. They've changed their governments. I don't really care, but yeah, they've changed their governments. Okay, we destroyed the rest of these guys. Let's see, is Denmark about ready to give up? Because they're losing now both their prestige due to not only conquest reasons, but also because they just need to. Let's just go Let's go finish off this part of the world first. Let's go see if and Israel not adapt. Let's go finish off this part of the world so that we can easily go into different places. Okay, we could also go finish up this war. Hey, by the way, would you guys like white peas? Yeah, you know what? You guys won because I got too lazy to fight that war. <laughs> I got too lazy to fight that war, and I honestly don't want to deal with it, so you guys can go deal with it. There's two more provinces, so let's go deal with that. The rest of you guys keep continuing on the main path while me and these guys go siege up this part. Let's see, I think that's the final provinces. Yep. This is the final provinces. There we go. Uh, there we go. 
And that's soon going to be added to a gigantic African colony. And let's see. Yeah, Africa's been pretty much divvied up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, excelente. Uh, do that one. Let's see, social sciences. Go down here. Let's see. And then all you guys are about to be finished up. Excelente. Yeah, we're almost done. You guys are about ready to give up? No. They're going to fight me to the bitter end. These socialistic people are going to fight me to the bitter end. Uh, well, I do admire their bravery. But at the same time, it would kind of make things a lot easier if they gave up now. <laughs> okay, let's go send our men over here. Alright. Bada bing, bada boom. And boom, 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 boom. Let's see, finish up there, go right here, go stop right there, work smarter, go right there, now let's go right here, let's see, 97, okay guys, come on, you have no army, I'm basically finishing up with the rest of your conquest, pretty quickly, let's go finish up the rest of these things, let's see, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. And with that, we actually get more colonies. Oh my goodness. So West Sahara Desert is now becoming an official province. And so is this province. Oh my goodness, yes. So there we go. Rating-wise, this is how we're looking. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see, how's this doing? It's doing pretty good. So yeah, look at all this, people. We're slowly, are we slowly starting to integrate ourselves with everything? There's actually a decent amount of Turkish in some of these lands. Wow. You know, we've slowly taken over some of these places. Like, seriously. There should be no Turkish in this place, but somehow we've... How many, how many people are in Slovenia? Slovenia. Slovakia, Slovenia. I need Slovenia. This might take a while, so not going to do that. Yes. So now we got a big, gigantic African state. Let's instantly... Oh, we're still thinking about it. Release some nations. Uh, Asphalt can do. There we go. And now we're going to talk to France. Yep, France is now like, yep, hooper duper. We're going to get our lions back, hooper duper. Okay. Get you guys to like us. Okay. Next thing, what we need to do is now who you guys mobilize against. You guys, oh yeah, you guys are attacking these guys too. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's, these, the Republic of Kanzabazi must be having such a difficult political time fighting everyone in the world. Alright, but anyways, let's see. Let's go for our British campaign now. I want to finish off the British Empire. Um, you release one more nation just in case if they somehow, uh, you know, discover me all the way. Cuba, release Cuba. Why not? Cuba, you can have your independence. Just because I don't really care about you guys. And you guys would probably be much better off if I just release you. Just like my other vassal, the uh, Philippines. They're doing okay by themselves. They actually built a decent army to protect themselves. I like all the things they have done with themselves. It's really quite amazing. But us as the dramatic... Us as the Empire have just expanded and expanded, and we're not stopping. It's a good thing I also did that, because otherwise I would have had much more infamy than I could ever bear. Let's go get this technology right here. because this is, this is a pretty old technology, and we having a little bit more men would probably help us a lot. Oh, speaking of men, it's time to do, trying to do massive conscription of all my men. So see you guys in a second. Okay guys, I had to add a new theater of war, or a new like meeting place for my troops, and that's going to be now in Africa. Because I have so many troops that now can be made in Africa, it's not even funny. Alright, let's see though. I want to decrease the taxes I have on my people, because this is just way too ludicrous. Uh, it's really going to depend, okay, that's fine. Then also decrease the taxes right there, 49%. There we go, there we go. War declared attacking Algeria. Good job, friends. It took you literally years to do this. But you finally did it. Okay. We literally have so many factories closing and opening. 
Actually, we could probably close this one down because that one's not going to be made anything more. Yeah. We literally... We are such a powerful nation right now. We literally own the entire world. Well, not the entire world. I mean, economically-wise, how do we fare? Well, dye, we obviously don't have much. Cotton, we obviously don't have much. Iron, we're the main producers. Timber, we're the main producers. Uh, this, we're the main producers. Rubber, we're the main producers. Oil, we're probably not the main producers. Um, coal, we're the main producers. Sulfide, we're the main producers. Industrial goods, steel, we're not the main producers. In fact, not even close. Cement, we're not the main producers. Uh, machine parts, we're not the main producers. Glass, we're not the main producers. We're second main producers. Uh, fertilizer, we're the main producers so far of those three. Electrical gear, probably not. <laughs> Steamers, probably not. We don't use steamers. Clippers, we don't. We use a lot of clippers, but we don't have the most. Explosives, consumer goods. Oh, this is probably going to be like all us. Probably no automobiles. Actually, we have some automobiles. Yay! But yeah, look at all that. We literally have dominated most of the business. The only person that has somewhat of a business chance against us is the British Empire, who we are now going to defeat and destroy. Because it is time for the British Empire to go and die. Flat, flatly put, it's time for the British Empire to die. Because they're possibly one of the hardest places I can attack right now. Okay, why can I not justify a war against them? We have already prepared a justification of war against the United Kingdom. Oh yeah! We are just, we already justified the war. What am I talking about? Man, sorry people there. I'm like having a little bit of a scene... Like a senior moment. Okay. By the way, let's release Don Snink. That way we have less infamy. And let's see. Is there anything else we want to do? Uh, since we have such advanced uh, stuff. We could probably get some more some more taxes. 5% taxes on this many people would just skyrocket, skyrocket us. I mean, we're already literally skyrocketed to almost no, no cummings. No, Britain, you're not going to do that because I'm going to declare war on you here soon. Oh my goodness. We can also have our troops right here. Troops right over here. Instantly conquer all British South Africa. Then right over there. Uh, oof. This is going to be massive alliance. We're going to be, we're going to be initiating here. In fact, is it really this smart to be declaring directly war onto the Britons? Wouldn't it be safer to go after Tuscany? Uh, you know what we could do is get the Casas Belli for the British Empire and then just like declare war on Tuscany. Because declaring war on Tuscany is way easier than declaring war on the British Empire. Okay. Dang. Yeah. They're also allied with Sardinia. Actually, you know, we should probably get Sardinia actually underneath our thumb. That way we can have like all of northern Italy. So yeah, that's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm going to first gain the sphere of influence with Algeria. No. No no no. I'm going to first get the Casas Belli for the British, and then once I'm done with that, then I'm going to use that to go and fight the uh, Sardinia Pinmont. Sounds like a good idea in my head. And I think it's going to play out pretty dang well too. Dangerous. Dangerous. Mm -hmm. Defeating, defeating the the uh, British will finally destroy the last bits of them. And then let's see, how many more empires do we have? Well, Canada should be really easy to conquer. Uh, America is of course going to be a pain. And apparently, Grand Columbia formed. Oh, hmm, that's not exactly what I'd call Grand Columbia, but yeah. Grand Columbia formed, people. Grand Columbia formed. Um, let's see. Cuba's obviously building up their own uh, initiative. And let's see. We have these guys to finish off. I mean, the war should become way quicker. Especially if we go after um, China. The wars are going to become a lot quicker. Because then we just be like, add, add core, add core, add core, add core, add core. And once we defeat all the major nations around the world, we just need to get to that point, though. 
We're not quite at that point where we could just go declare war on anyone and defeat everything. We're almost, though. We're getting there, people. I mean, the last 30 years are probably going to be hectic. I can already imagine, like, the last 30 years in this game. It's going to be like... Whoo wee That's going to be amazing. That's going to be an amazing last little bit of this game. And, let's see, five luxuries. Oh, man. They're coming for us, everyone. They're coming for us. Uh, cultivist output. Let's get this so that they're a little bit more organized. Factories. 40k, that's so much. 40 each turn. I haven't really been... I haven't really been, like, blazing the if so not adapt. Get ring leaders. Oh, my goodness. How much of my population is what? Only 4.8% of my population is actually Turkish. 17.5 is Russian. If only my culture accepted Russian, we would have such a great time. No, I don't really want to assert myself in USCA because that'd be stupid. And let's see. Uh, do we have it? There we go. Go to Sardinia. Just fire war. Humiliate. Uh, yeah. Just want to do humiliation war. I don't want to do a conquest war because I just want to get it as quickly as possible. Let's see. A little bit less days because genderism is really great. I love genderism. Genderism is like the best thing in the world. Okay, let's see. We have our armies already ready for this invasion. We basically have everyone all ready for this invasion. Declare war on them. Have the UK join in. Have the French beat up the UK. And my own self beat up the UK. Maybe the Chinese will also join in. Probably not though because the Chinese are jerks. So, yeah. Don't be expecting much from the Chinese, because the Chinese are going to be jerks, probably. Let's see, we got more power. Alright, let's see, if we get this and we get diplomatic influence just a little bit more up, but I don't really need that. Uh, romanticism, don't really need that. Uh, probably get some more of this. More industry is probably good. Okay, let's see, do we have it? No. Come on, come on, come on, I want to get this. I want to get it, so I'm just going to back up. Spurs of them. Do 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 do. I want to get this. I want to get this so badly. Oh man, this looks so beautiful. It looks so beautiful. Cheers! Yay! Kaboom! Yay! More kaboom! More mechanized mining! Yay! More stuff! Kaboom! Yay! Kaboom! Yay! I know this isn't kaboom time, but just everything is kaboom time now. Yay! Kaboom! 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 Oh man, once I stop caring about my infamy and everything and all that, this is going to be a great conquest. Uh, we just have to defeat the Chinese, the Chinese, the Japanese, and America, and then we're basically done with all of our conquest. Because I think after that point, we basically got everyone that could defeat us out of the way. Reduction of prestige. There we go. Um, we still have our cosplay against them. It doesn't square off until October. Okay, let's do this. Clear war, humiliate. Maybe, maybe, unlikely. Let's get this all in. You guys join in. Let's just get everyone that we can in on this. Because we're going to have you guys just destroy all the land troops. Okay. You guys go right here. Okay, Lavidia, call it ally. Uh, call in ally. Call in ally. Oh my god, so many allies. Alright, and then right here, go call in you guys. And then call in you guys. There we go. And is that it? Yeah, that's it. Because I don't really need these little tiny states. They don't really help that much, but there we go. Let's see how everyone thinks the world. Traitorous, traitorous. France joined in! Yes! Okay, and Sardinia Piedmont just became a great power. Wow. That was great timing right there. So now France is now going to join the, uh... He's now going to join this war. Which is great. I'm already the war leader, so this is going to be awesome for me. Because that means I get really good prestige. Uh, call in debts. Yeah. You guys can become my ally. You guys get to join in if you guys want to. Because I'm not going to... Yeah, you guys get to come keep joining in until you guys actually say yes. Because I'm so powerful right now that you guys really want to say yes. 
I'm telling you guys, you really want to say yes because uh, this would be really bad if you guys said no. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, we basically stopped their advance right there in Africa. Uh, right over here is really where. Oh. Seems like guys don't get to see the episode today. I was hoping you might. And you guys want the alliance back. Okay, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.